Black Asta is coming out in less than two days time. And he is one of the most intricate units being a hybrid DPS defender. And he is going to be very fun for many. And obviously because he is Black Asta, many people are going to be enjoying playing with him. So let's hop right into it. We are going to start with his passives. There are lots of awesome people here. With them, I can be anyone. Now, usually we do start off with skills, but because of how Black Asta works, we are going to be starting with his unique passive and then his LR passive and talking about if we should dupe him and then going into his skills. Reason being this unique passive. When he gets the LR, he gets the ability to get anti-magic. So when he is below 40% HP, he receives the anti-magic buff, okay? Now, what does this anti-magic buff? It gives him a 15% increased damage dealt per 1500 defense, and it gives him permanent stun block while having anti-magic. Just taking this into account, if you have 25,000 uh, 25, defense, you should have about a 180% increased damage dealt, which is exactly how this guy becomes a DPS alongside his skill page, which makes it a lot crazier. So we are going to talk about that. But even just that is quite insane, right? So that is the main way. And the stun block is quite good for him too, which is all things that should be considered in this. Now, as for his enhanced passives, we are going to go to Pride Win since the second one is not on global, where at LR2, you taunt all enemies for one turn, which is a very strong effect because you stop buff effects and you have to be hit. Then the LR5 is going to be that you apply stun block to the whole team at the start of the battle, which is a very strong effect for Asta himself because you have to think at the beginning of the battle, he does not have stun block because anti-magic gives it to him, but he has to be below 40%. So getting it from the Turn one is going to allow it so that he's going to have it until it's his turn. And then he's going to get a guaranteed attack no matter what. Okay, so that is the main way to think about it. Now, if we hop over to KR, let's look at the stats in where it's going to be giving a total of 2,500 attack, which is good because of the fact he only has attack in the first place. Gives him 1,000 defense, which if it was higher, that would have been insane. And then 24% crit rest. So overall, should you be duping him? I would recommend yes for most people. Going for that dupe 5 is not going to be a bad idea. But you have to remember that, I mean, in general, there are there's stuff coming after. And if season 5, though, you could just gateway pick uh, Charlotte with a key, right? You could pick a unit every single season. Remember that. And then after that, I think the only unit is Witch Queen. So, you know, you should have enough time to really dupe him out. Now, I don't know if I would recommend using Universal Dupes because I honestly, I put out the narrative that you should be duping out Noel and Charlotte, uh, Halloween Noel and Ceremony Charlotte with the Universal Dupes. So it's up to you, but I would recommend getting both of those that I just mentioned to dupe level two and then summoning for Asta Dupes. But if you have some to spare, it is not a bad idea to put them into Asta because he gets good stats and both of his passives are very good. There are lots of awesome people here. With them, I can be anyone. Now then, we know exactly how anti-magic works, gives him the DPS buff once he's under that 40% HP, but it also makes it so that his skills do different things depending on if he has anti-magic or not. We're going to go over his non-anti-magic form first and then go over the anti-magic form. So, he starts off skill 1, just applying HP recovery immunity, okay? Now remember, he only has attack, so that should be kind of... Um, it's honestly simple to build just like logically, but uh, we'll talk about that later. There's three different ways that we can build them. So just HP recovery immunity is not like insane, but over time, especially as we get more mimosas and all of that, it's going to stop the, those heals for going in. Now, this one is going to be insane where it's going to be applying level three increased defense, which if you get this off before the anti-magic procs, that is going to be crazy, right? Because you're going to be increasing your defense by almost 200%, right? Which is insane, right? And it's to the whole team, okay? Whole team. Now his alt is a two-turn taunt, which, you know, might not seem too crazy, but to me, it is one of the best skills that he could apply because being taunted for two turns is just very strong, right? If you put this on a buffer two, this could be very good. So that is nice. And then his combo just applies a stun. So this is a very, one of the best combos in the game where you could use it at any time. And I, especially if there's, if it's with the unit that doesn't really have a like have a need for their ultimate you use that person's combo with asta and then free stun right so it's pretty pretty crazy now going on to the anti-magic form now remember it is a 180 percent increase but if we count with the skill page it could genuinely be up to a 600 percent a 640 percent increased damage if you're at 25,000 defense so just some things to consider for sure right now 
let's talk about it. Keeping in mind that he could do basically six times the amount of damage he normally would, even more, right? So his skill one is kind of silly, right? Now you won't be using it much, but if you do, it's just going to be giving you an SP plus eight buff, which like, bro, I don't, I don't, it's, it's like, damn. Now, the best skill for him in his anti-magic phase is this, because it is attacking everyone for 32, for 100% attack, 110% uh, attack. It's an AoE, right? It's an AoE, and it's going to be removing one of the person's barriers. Not everyone's, but one of the person's barriers, which is going to be very good, right? Um, you get to select which one you are removing. And in that case, well, that person barrier is going to be removed. And no matter what, th that person should be dead unless they have damage reduction, damage reduction, plus increased defense. There's no way they're dying. But Asta is killing most people. Then on this, he is also just removing barrier. And this is a 300% attack. Highest alt in attack alt in the game. So you just got to consider um, this is um, this is going to kill no matter what, right? 300% attack, removing barrier. So it's raw damage. You are most certainly killing. Okay, most certainly now then, as for the upgrade order, I would recommend upgrading the skill to first because that's the one that matters for damage the most. Then the ultimate is either tied or a bit below, but I would say prioritize the skill two first if you could only choose one. Then finally, the skill one, and if you really want to do the combo, go ahead, but that's really for last, very, very last. So this Asta is going to be very good. Now, let's just hop over back to KR, I guess, to just look a bit more in depth at some of his other stats, right? So we could see here he's at 100 speed, which for him is a bit unfortunate. But when you consider he wants to be paired with Witch Queen 2, it is not the worst thing in the world because Witch Queen only has 104 speed. If both of their speeds were higher, it would be better. But beggars can't be choosers, right? There are lots of awesome people here. With them, I can be anyone. Now we get to talk about Black Asta's best skill pages. By far, this is his best skill page, okay? You get just an extra 10% increased damage per 1500 defense when anti-magic is present. Only when anti-magic is present, right? Under 40%. But it goes up to 25. So if you want to dupe this one out, this one is definitely one of them I would recommend putting skill page dupes into unless you're really going for Mario Leona. Mario Leona, Mario Leona oh my, I really butchered her name there. Mario Leona is going to be, much, it's, it's going to take a lot more dupes for uh, her skill page to be good. So you might want to save it for then your universal dupes. But this one's not bad, giving 3% increased damage per dupe. And it's, it's going to get crazy, right? As I mentioned with the skill page if you have 25,000 defense this if you have a max dupe could be up to 640 percent right we could see right here um so basically in 25,000 right divided by 1500 you're gonna have that 16 times and then in total that's 25 percent plus 15 from his passive so that's gonna be oh I, that's gonna be a 640 percent multiplier so it's going to be quite strong now besides just that it adds one of the best things in the game which i need to make sure that it is for two turns it is for two turns what it adds is total defense which means you are blocking everything which why is this good for asta and the whole team is that there is a passive in the game which we're going to check out right now i'm going to show you actually i'll yeah i'll show you now to make it make sense so there is a passive in the game where let me try to find it um, not here, this side, um, this one right here, when you block damage, when you resist damage, you get debuff immunity, and this is counted as resisting damage, right, so when you have total defense, every time you get hit, because of the total defense, you're getting debuff block if you have that talent, so it's very strong for that, and it also just reduces your damage in general, um, so this is just really good. It's defense, total defense too. And it's going to start to be very, very strong, right? Once you start adding all these things together. And it makes it so that Julius cannot fuck with Black Asta, okay? That is the main thing. That is the main thing. So this skill page, just get it once, you're good. There is going to be the skill page banner. So you are at least going to be able to guarantee it or just get more lucky than usual if you don't end up uh, getting it on the main banner. Now, this one, obviously, because of the increased defense, is not going to be horrible, but obviously not going to be amazing. Same with this, giving increased defense. Um, I'd say, like, it goes 1, 2, 3, then 4, if you just want damage reduction here. But uh, definitely, this one's the best, and you sh everyone should be getting this for Black Asta. I, no questions asked. Uh, if you don't have it, it does make him a lot worse, mainly because of the total defense. And it also makes it that he's a much worse DPS because 15% to 25% to 40% is a big jump, right? Those are two big jumps. And just getting that skill page 10% is going to be quite, quite good. There are lots of awesome people here. With them, I can be anyone. So this is how you should be building 
you're black Asta, okay? So you have the debuff immunity when you fall below 35%, which is going to go in tangent with his anti-magic at 40%. You get the 20% 20 20 increased defense. You get the debuff immunity here when you resist damage, as we just talked about in the skill page section. You get the accuracy and penetration, and then you get the damage dealt and the crit damage. Now, you could also go for the attack and crit damage, uh, attack and damage dealt, but I'd say that overall, like, it, it really does depend. I'd say this one is just as good as the crit damage, because of Black Asta. So I'm gonna, we'll keep it like this. I'll say this is probably the best build for many people, unless you're really honing in on crit damage on him, but I don't think you are. Now here, HP or speed works well. Here, just going for probably the crit damage since he can't really make use of the magic attack. And then here, obviously going for the defense is the way to go. I would say that this is probably the best six to use for Asta's talents, right? There are lots of awesome people here. With them, I can be this is my Black Asta's gear on JP, okay? So we're going to talk about the best sets. Overall, if we are looking at it, the best three sets, if you're just going to build a defense build, is going to be defense, speed, and then either defense or attack, right? That's probably the best way to go about it. I'd say that this last slot is not really that deep, bro, if you're... If you're struggling, it's not that deep, okay? So you choose whatever you want for that last slot. But for the sake of it, we are going to say like attack, I guess, right? We're going to get our extra 7% attack. And this, you're always going to build with four-piece defense, okay? Asta thrives off of defense. So that is what I would recommend, getting the three bonus sets, getting the increase in defense. And then as for accessories, you are going to go for defense and defense. And then this one, if you could get HP, that would be great. I don't think you could, you could get defense here, but let me know if you can. I haven't. I've gotten HP though. So if you want to put HP, sure. But also putting crits is not a bad idea. Now, as for substats, okay, substats, let's talk about it. The substat that you want, you would want the most is defense. Then it would be attack percent. Please put attack percent and not just attack. And then it would be the crits. And then that's it, right? Like attack, defense, crits. And then if you want some crit resistance, that is also fine too. Those are the main five that I would go for. So defense first, then attack, then um, the crits, crit damage, crit rate, and then crit resistance is how I would go for him. Now, there's also the argument that if you want to play it where he is a DPS, you can. Now, it's not going to be as good, but you could definitely just, if you're putting him on defense with it, make it very annoying if you give him an attack build instead of a defense build by putting the main sets as attack and then building off of more attack than anything, okay? So that's the second set. Now, for this third set, I'm going to have to go and pull a gear set up to show you guys. I've talked about this before, but essentially how this works is that with the four piece, if you run the four piece, you will be losing out on some stats, yes. But what it's going to be giving is pretty strong, where every time you're hit, you're giving 10% immobility, and also you're getting 30% increased defense until it's your turn. Because of how Asta works, he's going to be slow, and obviously this mobility is going to make him stronger, but this increased defense could easily stack three times. You're getting 90% increased defense, which is going to probably make up for everything, all the defense that you don't have, and the increased mobility is also going to be helping him a lot, especially if you have that uh, the talent where he gets the debuff block. So everything's going to start going into play, and this defense increase is going to be able to make up for the... Uh, missed out defense from the stats if you were running just the normal defense pieces like i have right here so it's up to you but this is going to be a gear set that's coming out hopefully soon i don't know when exactly but obviously i make these gear uh, these build guides for both global and jp and it is this set right here i only have one piece hopefully we're going to start get i'm going to start getting more soon but that's it for now. Um, as for gear, that's pretty much, we've touched on touched on everything. You can build them either with four defense pieces, four vertical attack pieces, or the four piece with this, four piece with this, and then either defense, attack, or whatever you want, right? But definitely four piece with this is uh, another way that we're going to try out in the future. So look out for that video. It should work out pretty, pretty well. There are lots of awesome people here. With them, I can be anyone. Now then, as for teams, there are... A pretty good amount of team variants, I think, for Black Asta because of how he works, right? Now, some of them will not be available to you guys right away on Global, but over time, they will be. And obviously, I'm kind of mentioning this with the uh, lens also of JP. Now, the first one is going to be this. I think this team is probably going to be the meta team now, I think. 
Um, so Noel obviously is going to be applying the damage down to the DPSs, right? And then William's going to either give damage reduction or kill someone with Julius combo, as I've explained in the past few videos. Then Asta is going to be there to increase defense at first with his skill too. And then later on, as he starts taking damage, to do damage himself. So this is probably going to be one of the best teams um, at the moment. Now, in the future, uh, well, actually right now too, there's also going to be this one that you can run. I think it's going to be decent. Not going to be anything too crazy, but the survivability of this team is going to be insane if you have Asta on a defense build because she has immortality. She could heal herself with her scope page once it's duped out a lot. Fuego has immortality. Asta is a defender and you know is going to be applying it to where someone's going to be taking um, or is going to have silence for two turns. So this one too is going to be quite crazy, I'd say, because of how it's going to work, which I'm going to like to try out both of these teams. Now, this one in the future is how you're going to be running the actual mono red team once Witch Queen comes out. So Witch Queen, I'm going to make a proper guide on her then but essentially what she does if we really look at it just real quick taking into account what the um what the anti-magic is where she puts the person with the highest defense to 30 percent of max hp which is going to be black asta and that's going to be in anti-magic range and also what she does do is on a full red team she gives the defender a immortality buff so she's giving black asta immo so that means no matter what asta is getting to his turn and living and then she's healing him back up once he uses his big damage skill. So that's basically how it's going to work. Asta is going to be quite strong on this team. And then you could do something like this in the future. Double tank team. Mario is going to be a DPS in this team, right? It's going to be double damage reduction. She's going to give extra damage reduction. Stun block two after Asta's stun block wears off. He's going to give defense increase and all of that good stuff. This team is going to be really toxic. Okay, I actually need to try this team out. I haven't really just done this team itself. And I think I put one here. Yeah, so this is going to be more of a cleave team in the future where how it works. I've showed it before. It's nothing like too crazy, but Volto speeds up. Radis applies the defense increase, which Queen applies her thing, which her ultimate, which puts Black Asta in anti-magic range. And then Asta just goes crazy because he has the defense increase, but he's under the anti-magic range. And then it's going to be all good, right? So that's basically five teams that I could recommend for both global and JP. And with that, that basically ends the video. Let me know um, if you guys are going to be summoning for Black Asta. How many dupes do you want to get in him and his skill page? And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.